there's a party atmosphere at the Cognitive Research Centre. The psychologists and volunteers know each other pretty well. Some of these people have been doing tests here for 17 years. And what we're going to do is some memory tests. We're going to show you a list of words for you to remember. The volunteers are part of a massive longitudinal study. Several thousand people are involved. The psychologists are interested in how their memories and other abilities change over time. Our own endeavour here is to try and make links between changes in the brain and changes in behaviour. Uh, but uh, we as psychologists study mainly behaviour, that's our trade. Okay, now you're going to see six numbers. For the comparative novices, Pam and Emma, the tests are quite a challenge. The idea is to tap into their short-term memory. OK, getting harder now. I've got nine digits to remember. Pam's doing OK. Not so sure about Emma. Are you ready to do in the next one? Last one I'm now. sure there was eight digits in that last one. <laughs> I hope there were nine. How many did you get? I've got nine. I missed, the, I missed one. Ah, there you go, see. Concentration helps, but the tests seem to go on forever. Why are we actually doing this? Well, this is quite an everyday task, because if you think of something like someone tells you the telephone number, as people get older, that's the type of memory that they complain about having problems with. You don't definitely get worse as you get older, it's not inevitable. But what happens is, if you look at a group of older people, there'll be a lot more variable, so some people will be a lot worse, some people may show no change at all. The fact that there is variation means that there are factors which accelerate ageing and which retard it. Uh, and both these things are important because we want to avoid the accelerators and we want to find out what makes some people lucky. <laughs> Results from a wide variety of tests suggest that we don't necessarily get worse across all tasks. But as Pam and Emma show, we do seem to get slower. But this would never come into your everyday uh, sort of living, would it? What we try and do is make everyone equal, so that the um, stimuli are equally novel and abstract to everybody. We're always trying to track the hypothesis that uh, different areas of the brain may be differently affected by ageing. And uh, so uh, you try and organise tests which depend on different brain areas. OK, so if you want to write down as many of those words as you can remember. You're probably interested in how Pam and Emma score. But for scientists, it is many years' worth of cognitive, physical, medical and even genetic tests on these volunteers that forms a rich and unique resource. I wouldn't be able to undertake any of this unless uh, I asked uh, our volunteers, as I frequently do, what they feel about it and whether they have anything to contribute. And in fact, my best insights have come from them. <laughs>